Welcome back, folks. Jay Barino here, continuing Arthur's campaign, Undead. We're heading into Chapter 3, Return of the Burning Legion. Three days later, on a hill overlooking Dalaran. The Circle of Power has been prepared per your instructions, Lich. Are you ready to begin the summoning? Nearly. I've been reading through Medivh's spellbook. His knowledge of demons alone is staggering. I suspect that he was far more powerful than anyone ever realized. Not powerful enough to escape death, that is for certain. Suffice to say, the work he began, we will finish today. Let the summoning commence. Is this literally going to be the vanilla undead campaign finale? It is. Look at the map. It's exactly the same. <laughs> we have Tychondrius. That's the only difference here, though. I bow to oh. your will. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, isn't there an expansion over here to the right? Let's let's send a fellow over there to pick that up to grab to grab the expansion right away. Survive for thirty minutes. Yeah, it's it's the same thing. What? Why? Yes, master. There's got to be a twist to this. Maybe that I just man, I don't know. Will be done. That is real weird, though, isn't it? I guess let's go ahead and, and take this gold mine. I gladly. Tychondrus, her scouts have found a cache of hidden goblin landmines. Yeah, I know. Um, we'll worry about those in a second. Let's let's keep an eye on on making sure we don't die here in a moment. There's some Kieran Tor up there. I mean, we are only playing on medium, so if this isn't going to be too challenging, maybe what I'll do is just go ahead and. Uh, I grow tired of waiting. Oh, we got some some enemies incoming. Let's just do this. Let's get this started the right way. Defend Kalthazad at all costs. He must not be just the summoning must not be disrupted. Anyway, yeah, like I said, let, let's get this started off on the right foot, which is with Infernals. You can actually use these to go and attack somewhere. Go, my friends, go! Do what you can do. We'll go get the Goblin Landmines. Okay, that's just about done. Let's just go ahead and get uh, more Acolytes over here to fully saturate this base. Look at them go! Oh, there's a lot of stuff in these bases, but they're, you know what? They're still gonna, they're still gonna do some damage. Wow, that's great. Okay, in the meantime, we already start with plus, uh, plus one. Uh, if this is exactly like, again, it seems just like it, right? I don't see any major differences right now. If we don't see any other major differences, what I'll probably do is just go ahead and, uh, is just go ahead and, and, uh, try to go on the offensive. Have a little fun with it. My life for Okay, we got more ghouls on lumber. Uh, probably we'll get a Black Citadel here pretty soon, and I can get Skeletal Longevity, Necromancer Adept Training. And we have not really been attacked by anything up until now, so... Man, I don't- I just don't get it. Alright, there's the Goblin Landmines. Here's these clowns. They're gonna get fucked. We can Soul Hunger with Tychondrius and have him kill them pretty quick. I bow. Uh, I probably just want to set up more ziggurats where possible. I mean, let's just wait till we have a little bit more money, get this fully saturated. But we got that set up. I wish only to Man, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm just not sure. I, I feel like I'm just missing something about this map. Like, there's got to be some difference to it, right? Summoning is. No, there's no extra quest. It's just Kelthazad must survive. Maybe it's just because this is happening at a different time than we're used to it. Maybe that's why it's like mildly. I don't know. Maybe that's why it's different. I'm just not sure. Let's just go ahead and get him in there. Meanwhile, this is fully saturated. We're at low upkeep. Let's just go ahead and get a few more spirit towers. Research complete. Research complete. And we'll lay down our landmines here momentarily. Landmines, landmines. Landmines. And then we'll lay some more down over here. Very subtle. Did I start my Black Citadel? Let's do that now, because it's going to take a while. Let's go ahead and pick up the rest of the landmines and throw them down on the other side, over here. Because that area is going to need some more defense. And... 
I wish oh, my life was as I can't just weird <laughs> right I'm not crazy this is it is a little strange that this is like blatantly taken from an existing an existing map <laughs> a vanilla map again maybe it's more about the story I suppose all right well we got some units here that's nice let's just move them up Set up the rest of my landmines here momentarily. Um, this guy, you know, we'll set up a few more. I don't want to keep them too close together. Tychondrus, you know, whatever. You're doing fine. Let's go ahead and get Disease Cloud. We can't yet because Black Citadel's not done. Let's get plus two everything because we can afford it. And let's go ahead and lay down some mines across this river. Just right up here. And assuming we can hit these towers with meat wagons, we'll just get some meat wagons out and we'll, we'll start our roll here momentarily, I, I guess. Cannibalize. Skeletal Sorcerer. I mean, the skeletons seem okay. Summoning is complete. Let's Very keep subtle. these spread out a little bit. So that they kill themselves as they run Very by subtle. them like clowns. For now. Oh, here they come. Very and... For now. Oh, they're going a different way. That okay, that's cool. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and put this one back For out. Now. Interesting that they chose to go that way. I grow tired of waiting. Where, where are they going? Okay, there we go. I'm like, what? What's what's going on here? I'm so confused by this. Fury scorches the sky. The barriers between the worlds are weakening. Give me those hellhounds. I know we're gonna get those hellhounds. Give them to me. Oh, there they are. Legion has sent hellhounds. Let's go ahead and send a fella down here to set up some more stuff. Okay, spirit towers, because we can afford them. In fact, I'll get more. Again, I'm keeping these spread out so that mortar teams can't wreck our shit. Not that I'm really that nervous. This doesn't seem to be particularly challenging right now. We don't have a lot of time to really make progress, so let's let's try to get some of these meat wagons out early. If we want to make, if we want to do some some damage here, I can also kind of look around. I don't know where there were secrets on this map in the in the first case. In the first case, I could have um, gone back and and looked at comments left. Uh, in the past, I shall be your eyes. what can we get at this goblin tower? Shall be nothing nothing particularly appealing. To do. Okay, uh, let's get another acolyte. Gotta leave some for, uh, for repairing here. Skeletal, yeah, let's get necromancer training and then skeletal mastery. Summoning we'll get a few necromancers and then we can go and attack complete. here pretty soon. Spirit towers are expensive. Okay, now, okay, those are detectors, that's fine, but I'm less concerned about my blood be about these clown gyrocopters, to be honest. They're really not gonna, they're really not gonna be major problems. Especially if we just set up enough spirit towers again. I'm keeping them spread out in case there are a lot of, uh, oh, you jerks, those are my landmines. Okay, well, that's what they're gonna affect, is the landmines. Disease cloud is great, and now we're just waiting for cash. They're gonna fly over to my spirit towers and get wrecked because it's not like gyrocopters are particularly great. We could finger of death these. It's gonna be funny too. <laughs> uh, okay, let's well let's level up finger of death. That seems pretty darn good, doesn't it? Um, thy bidding, master. You why don't we have just you set up a few more towers over here? I am just flabbergasted at just the blatant copying of this map. The story's basically the same too, but the difference is we have we have Tychondrius. That's the only difference. Hmm. Well, I tacitly disapprove. Okay, we got all this set up. You're good. You're good. Turn on auto repair, buddy. You're fine. Turn on auto repair. Let's go ahead and change the. You can't quite afford it yet, but that's okay. I might want to turn these when I can. All right, Tychondrius, and then we've got a group of units. Why don't we just take these and go and, and find stuff? Let's just look around and see what's up here and, like, kind of around this area and up here. See where we can find the entrances to the enemy bases. We clearly found the blue base. There's nothing here. Um, I guess let's come up around this direction. Oh, I have hellhounds, too. Let's, let's move them somewhere. Okay, you're a spirit tower. Congratulations. You guys are spirit towers. Congratulations. It's expensive. Summoning okay, we've got these skeletal sorcerers. The sleep and rain of fire certainly seems good, but just not super necessary. So we seem to have found something up here. Very subtle. That may work. And we've got really good vision on everything coming in at us. Alright, there's a renegade wizard up here. Forge Aran. Let's blast him. 
I also have Tychondrus' ultimate, which is way better than I think anything Arthas could do in the past. Let's see what we get here. I have better things to do. Ring of Protection plus five is... I mean, it's fine. I'm not thrilled with it. Tome of Strength plus two, I am more than happy with, though. Ah, oh, these poor sheep are all dying. What happens if we kill all the sheep? Anything? There were a bunch of sheep on this island. Kill them. For now. Wait, You're last right. one. Disease Cloud might kill it. Can Disease Clouds... I don't think Disease Cloud can kill things outright, actually. Okay, we got it. Um, We got it. The the sheep. Um, There's probably a base up here and then over to the left. Which one do we want to try to destroy? I'm thinking maybe the one on the... On the right. Or we can destroy the blue base that we've already revealed. We can bring the Hellhounds with us if we so desire. Uh, meat wagons... Come with us. I think we just get a few more abominations. We actually need gold. Uh, I mean, again, tempting to just go and try to attack and, and kill something. Let's just take this group, and then anything new that we build will bring... Anything new that we build will just uh, bring with us. That's a lot of griffins. That is a lot of griffins. Again, we do have a lot of towers. Why don't we just focus down this? Actually, no. Don't do that. That's a mistake, because <laughs> you can see how much damage it's doing. The Legion has sent more Hellhounds. I'll just get those down here, even though there's nothing to mana burn right now. Okay, well, we found a base. That's exciting. Let's make sure that they're attacking stuff so we can destroy them. I mean, I'm pretty confident. Oh, okay. Sorry, uh, sorry. Mr. Acolyte. That's okay, though. Um, let's just get some more crit fiends to web this this shit. Yeah, these guys don't have mana, do they? No, they don't, so we can't, uh, can't kill them. Okay, move on up. Just hold position, Tychondrus. You'll be fine. And we're, pu we're pushing into an enemy base. That's exciting. Um... I guess we just want to get another cluster of towers up here. Let's send this abomination up here. And maybe a couple more necromancers. That's all I can really think to do to kind of help this invasion go a little bit smoother. Did I bring a necro... I know I had a necromancer, unless he's dead already. And he very well might be, unless I left him somewhere. These all need to be spirit towers. Again, I, I have these towers all spread out pretty nicely, just in case. I think maybe we had we had a a necromancer and he died. Unless he's hiding under these tr under these uh these units. Maybe I can kill one base just for funsies. In the meantime, um. Yeah, and then we'll get some abominations to leave at home because this area probably needs the most help. We could set up some more towers as well. This is probably fine. This is probably fine. We'll get more hellhounds as well. What is it? Okay, Uh-oh. let's move on in. Very subtle. This better be good. So, what's the deal here? I guess let's move Tychondrius up and hit this tower next. Okay, just lots and lots of towers. We'll get rid of these. Okay, here comes a bunch of griffins. Let's finger of death them. Oh yeah, that was good. Let's level up Unholy Aura. We'll kill these things pretty darn quick. Yeah, there's mortar teams. I didn't think about actually having units to go out and kill them, unfortunately. Also, the AoE still kills us. The AoE still hurts us significantly. Yes. Let's see if we can get these units out to help us. Okay, we've killed these. Uh, you all need to move up. And we need infernals. I mean, we don't need them, but it's going to be quite helpful. Okay, we're netting them. Tychondrius has a level. It's going to get Soul Hunger and then Finger of Death. Anything that's here. So good. They have a hero somewhere. He's right here. Tychondrius, just kill him. There we go. He's dead. Okay, and maybe we want to find their... Well, there's where they're making the griffins from, actually. Let's hit those. And between everything that we have here, we should be in just fine shape. We gotta make sure that we survive any future attacks, though, that's for sure. I wish only to so you guys can stay. We've got fellows for skeletons to move on up. 
Okay, Tachondrius, why don't you move on up? Make sure that we properly destroy these buildings. Come on, focus the buildings, please. We'll get rid of the We'll get rid of the Griffin Aviaries first. Here and here and here. We'll see if we're able to actually complete this. Oh my god, that works on buildings? Oh, it's nuts. Okay, now we're gonna get some skeletons out. That's good. And what's getting hit? Oh, a rifleman up here. That's fine. I never got plus three. We can pretty much afford it now, so let's do that. And again, why not why not attack these uh these buildings? We got the infernals out, which is wonderful. Okay, well that's one group down. Actually, come up and help hit the altar before their hero comes back, and I suppose I need at least maybe two more meat wagons to get this job done a little bit faster. Skeletons, don't you stop. Skeletons, don't you stop. Tychondrius, just hit this. Don't worry about the militia. Just destroy the Griffin aviaries for now. There's another Griffin, but that's fine. We have at least one crit fiend to net this thing. Hopefully we destroy this before the Hydromancer respawns. I think that's what it was. Okay, and then let's get an... Oh, we can't get an obsidian. Oh, we need a Tomb of Relics for an obsidian statue. Okay, that's fine. That's this one. And we're also taking a ton of uh, pressure off of ourselves by doing this. More Hellhounds? That's fine. I guess let's bring them with us. Okay, Finger of Death here. There we go. And have we destroyed all the Griffin Aviaries? There's one more. Let's destroy the Barracks now. I think Tychondrius has more than enough DPS to help get rid of the stuff that's spawning out of here. There's one. And then everything I want to build is basically comes out of the Slaughterhouse. I should just get a second one. We can also get some more Necromancers. Here comes another meat wagon. That's good, just to just bomb through these buildings that much faster. Here and here, they don't appear to be rebuilding, so I don't really have to worry about them spawning anything else. That's where those annoying um, Griffin Riders were coming from, though, so now we don't have to worry about them at all. We have 15 minutes. Maybe we can go for two bases in retrospect. That could be pretty fun. Let's destroy the castle. They are rebuilding a little bit here, but that's okay. We're going to keep them down pretty effectively. Another meat wagon coming up. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and then with our extra money, why don't we just do something like yes, this? <laughs> Let's just grab a few more towers. Clump them up, that's fine. This all has been repaired magically. Good work, Acolyte. Tomb of Relics is done, so we could get at least one or two obsidian statues. Can't quite afford them. Castle's gonna go down with no peasants on the field. We're in high upkeep now, unfortunately. Is there anything further back here? I guess it's worth checking. There might be more stuff to, to pick up here that could be pretty cool. We can outrange cannon towers. I didn't think that that would be possible. Okay, let's go ahead and pivot a few units up here. They did not bother to go on top of my landmines, unfortunately. This is super easy again, because I'm playing on, on medium, which is probably just normal difficulty. It's a little unfortunate, but it's fine, okay. Still have the Infernals out. We have a lot of meat wagons, so this stuff is all going down really, really quickly. That's good. Now we have our units on top of the steam tanks. It's, it's, that's not what they are. They're siege engines, aren't they? Yep. Okay, This these units are just my, my hangout at home forces. Let's go ahead and send an obsidian statue up there to heal my stuff, and then... Let's just remake my stuff. Can't hurt. And we just need more gold. Meanwhile... Let's check what's in this upper right area, and then maybe we'll go and attack blue and see if we can find any items in either of these locations. I didn't see anything special. The hero didn't drop anything. Now oh, there's something up here. Um, this is a case for this is a case for these fellas to mana burn for sure. All right, Tychondrius. Oh, we already there was a hero here. He's already dead. There's some sort of magical box here, so maybe. I, what do we get? Medallion of Courage. Strength and Intelligence by four. And then Scepter of Mastery. What is that? Allows mind control of non-hero units. Summoning is complete. It has three charges. Do we want to keep that or just keep an extra ring? I mean, Tychondrius is pretty fragile at this point. I don't know. Anyway, let's go for blue next. 
Let's see if we can make it happen. We've got 11 minutes. I'm sure we can... I'm sure we could do something. Something fancy schmancy. Let's see if we can get another obsidian statue out for mana. Or maybe we just leave the one that we have on mana. So this stuff doesn't really need healing. We're, uh, we are nearly completely plus three. We are in just fine shape in terms of surviving. Um, we've gotten rid of one of the... Uh, main enemy bases that's even gonna come close to causing us problems. Oh, that's that's bad. Okay, run away friends Necromancers don't Okay, good. They're turning around Finger of death go ahead and use uh, soul whatever all right now You guys can turn around and get us a few uh, skeletons for our attack. Mr. Necrolite. You don't need to do anything. That's fine Do I have any hellhounds here kill this guy blast this guy too Okay, great. And then let's go ahead and move into blue. And what I'm going to do is call down some infernals. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And Tychondrius move on up. Finger of Death up here. There's a good amount of units in here, that's for sure. You guys need to move back. Focus down the towers on the high ground. And then this. Quickly. Keep, fingers up. Keep using Finger of Death. Move the skeletons up, and we have more units just sitting here. Tons of skeletons. Now I got more infernals. This is easier than the normal map. This is like clearly easier than the normal map. What? The, what the hell? <laughs> Let's just destroy the altar in advance, so that when we kill their hero, um, he can't he can't really do anything. There we go. Or he can't respawn, I should say. Hit the hit all the barracks. Just like that. Actually, let's move on up and hit the cannon tower first so that my necromancers don't accidentally die. Their hero is gone. Tychondrius is getting crazy in here. Finger of Death is fun. I don't think we're going to be able to get all three bases. Well, maybe. I mean, this one's going to go down really fast. I wonder if there's anything secret we can get here. There's a, well, there's a, there's a healing fountain that we could go and hang out by. Okay, well, our gold mine's just about gone, but I'm really not concerned, because all that's coming at us is, uh, is gray at this point. So, you know, no problem there. Infernals are stuck. Okay, come on up here, buddy. There's so many infernals in here, and some of these aren't even considered summoned. Yeah, see, these are just permanent. That's incredible. Obviously, Tychondrus's ones are, are not permanent, but still, it's really, really good. <laughs> The only thing left to do at this point is maybe make a couple crit fiends and then more abominations to support. Maybe banshees just for the mischance that we don't really need to worry about. I hope I at least kept this interesting for you by moving out and attacking the bases instead of sitting. I, I, I actually, I, again, I don't want to get too negative, but it's sort of unbelievable at how this is just the same. It's just the same. It's just the same mission. Why? Weird. I should come back and destroy these tents. Let's send some units up there to destroy those tents. See if there's anything in there for Tychondrius to hold. He's doing pretty good. He's got the scepter. Re I mean, I obviously don't need to mind control anything this map, so I'm not gonna... We can't even... Oh, no, we can get up there from here. For a second, I thought we just couldn't get up there. Okay, meat wagons keep on moving up. And then Tychondrius, why don't you just move on up here and we'll scout out what's up here. And then uh, soon enough, I'll move my forces over to the left. Anything? Nothing. Okay. There's a goblin laboratory up here. I don't think... Let's check. Well, we can get goblin sappers. We can also reveal the map in places. What if we just do this just to see if there's anything secret on this map? See what if we'll miss anything if we don't uh, attack blue. They've got a healing well as well. Psychondris check up here. Very subtle. I'll play I don't... I just don't think there's anything. For now. I mean, the, the only it's thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and attract blue just because it'll be fun, not because I I really have to. You guys destroy the last the farm. Roof. Let's send everybody over here. They'll get there I'll eventually. The let's just let's just auto-attack right in there with the Infernals. Tychondrus' ult is almost back up. We can send everything else that we have to at home, including the ghouls. We don't really need any more lumber. Our gold mine has collapsed. So you guys go. We'll send again, like I said, we'll send the ghouls too. Maybe we could destroy this whole base before the timer's up. 
I am just flabbergasted. Our forces are under attack. What did they send at us? Okay, here's like an actual attack here. We should be able to kill this with what we got. And what I want to do is reveal down here, maybe? We can't even get up here if we wanted to. Over here? Nope, that's just a dead end. Okay, so yeah, there's there's really nothing on this map to do. Tychondrius, I would really prefer if you went and actually attacked. The Infernals are in there, they're getting crazy. Good work. Let's see if we can get my meat wagons hitting this. You can do it, friends. We have to destroy those towers on the high ground. I mean, I don't have to, but, you know, it would be preferable. Let's get some more abominations once we get Tychondrus in there for even more infernals. Even more infernals! We lost pretty much everything, but that's okay. Tychondrus is here. Go ahead and do this. We've got skeletons coming in as well. We're gonna miss sometimes as we attack these things on the high ground, but that's okay. Right here. Go ahead and hit the... Hit the uh, altar, even though it doesn't seem to be rebuilding, unless we haven't killed the hero, but I think we have. Yeah, I mean, there's infernals everywhere in this base. Let's see if we can clean this out in five minutes. I suspect we can. Okay, let's uh, just hit these and then the castle. Got skeletons everywhere. Got all sorts of stuff everywhere. This is great. It, really, the infernals. The amount of infernals on the map right now is absurd. Did we get more? No, that's just a shade. I was really excited. I'm like, did we really get more infernals? Because that is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let's uh, hit this one. The only thing left are going to be some of these... Ah, see, I left some towers back there, but I really can't see that being... I don't know. I'm imagining if there's going to be, like, a secret for destroying all the bases, and honestly, I bet there is not. Okay, I hit these... Let's let's just destroy these, these barracks. Wow. Okay. Well, second map, again, I felt was a really interesting idea, but got a little boring. This map, not really an interesting idea, considering it's it's basically it's it's almost an exact copy, if not easier, than what we saw in the original in the original Reign of Chaos. Or maybe it was always this level of difficulty, but when I played it, um, I just wasn't I, I just wasn't uh, very good. <laughs> Nor am I necessarily right now, but I'm better than I was when I played Reign of Chaos the first time, so. Okay, this base is cleared out. The last thing to do is maybe send uh, Tychondrius up in this direction. We left a few buildings up there as well that we want to clean out. Okay, workshop is almost gone. They can't build... Well, there's one more workshop up there too. All right, hit this. Actually, hit this. There we go. Okay, that's what needed to happen. Coolio, Tychondrius, why don't you just start cleaning out the remaining garbage up here? Your life will sustain and I'll send more units up to help him soon enough. I don't think anything's been left here, and I don't think anything's been left over in this base either. We, we cleared this out, including all the stuff on the high ground. Hmm. Okay, finger of death. <laughs> sure. Uh, okay, that's cool. Nothing on the high ground. We walked Tychondrius up to the top of the map. And what I'll do, just because I thought, may, you know, who knows, maybe there's something up here. I'll spend my remaining gold to scan up here. Our forces are under attack. Nothing. And it's not... Oh, we can buy a Zeppelin. So if there was something hidden on a high ground area, I could fly to it. Like this. So let's, uh, let's buy a Zeppelin. I laugh in the face of danger. Get on up here and pick up Tychondrius. And maybe we can do this in two minutes. I don't know what could possibly be over there, but who knows. The restless There's nothing left the enemy could have because they have no the production structures, warrior. which is ridiculous. What is it now? Finger of death, these farms. Tired of okay, my crit fiends should be able to handle this last tower here. There might be another one over here, actually. There is. That's okay. Let's go ahead and get my meat wagons over here and destroyed. Zeppelin's on its way. I think with Tychondrius, we can probably kill those gnolls with Finger of Death pretty quick. And also, if he's got the Infernals up. All right, come on, buddy. We gotta try to get you down there in time. Let's see. 
I honestly don't expect to make it in time, but who knows. Let's see if we can get meat wagons down here just in time. What's done is done. Okay, we cycled our crypt fiends. That's good. All other enemy bases, are other, all other enemy buildings what except these over here are gone. So let's move down there and get rid of them. Nope, never mind. It ended. Was that supposed to happen? Lord Bagamont, enter this world and let us bask in your power. Yes, okay. Tremble, mortals, and despair. Doom has come to this world. You have done well, little lich. My plan worked perfectly. Lord Archimon. All the preparations have been made. Very well, Tychondrius. Since the Lich King is of no further use to me, you dreadlords will now command the Scourge. As you wish, Lord Archimonde. Soon, I will order the invasion to begin. But first, I will make an example of these paltry wizards by crushing their city to the ashes of history. Already done, Archimonde. You can mark that one right off the checklist. <laughs> Whatever those gnolls had probably was not great. All right, we went up to that upper right area, which was much harder to fight to, so I assume whatever we got in that magic box in the upper right is probably better than whatever we would have gotten from those stupid gnolls, even though there was still time on the timer. That was weird. Why? It's a custom campaign. You just... It's a blatant use of an existing vanilla map. I don't want to be too critical about it, because I assume the whole idea is this is what happened in the story. But, you know, modify it a little bit so that it it's just a little different in some fact. I don't know how, but it, make it make it different. Maybe make it so that it was orcs instead of humans or something. It's like, I don't know. Think of some reason in terms of the story so to make it modify it a little bit. Either way, it's done. Dalaran wiped off the map. All right.